Good afternoon, everybody. Happy New Year's Eve. How's everybody doing? Very, very excited to be out here with you all for our final drive of the year. Guys, I can't believe it, actually. Um, yeah, it's been a fantastic year. And I'm very chuffed that I get to be the one that has the last drive of the year and very excited to be out on this beautiful game reserve with you all again. Just listening to some Impala rutting up ahead. Just quickly catching up with all of our pack members that have joined us this afternoon. Good afternoon, Mary, Carol, Jennifer, Barbara, Michael, Di, Carol, Rosemary, Betty, Elsa. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So good to have you all with us. And of course, we've got... Ryan with us on camera this afternoon, everybody. Ryan, nice to be out here with you, bud. Happy New Year's Eve. I just stopped along the fence line here, everybody. <coughs> I've actually I've come up along the southern fence just to see if there was any sign of the two male cheetah that was seen last night. Uh, I wanted to see if they'd maybe come along this far, uh, and they haven't. We're not too far from camp, to be honest, but I just want to quickly show you something here, which is interesting that I stopped for here on the fence line. Just turn the vehicle a bit so that Ryan can focus in on it. Unbelievable attempt by Hyena to get through the fence here. Just quickly roll up on the side here so that you can all see this. Look at this, look at this disturbance in the swirl here, everybody. From where I think one hyena, possibly two, not entirely sure how many. We're trying to get through the fence here. Let's turn this radio down, it's very noisy. Shush radio. But um, yeah, if you focus here, Ryan, you can see the tracks, quite clearly see the tracks of hyena here. Um, I honestly thought it was gonna be a leopard that was maybe trying to get through here. But it's very interesting that, uh, yeah, like I say, one, maybe a couple hyena folks were trying to get under the fence here. I don't know why. Hyenas can get through these fences. We know that they can, but they'll usually pick areas closer to drainage lines, these little riverbeds. And now that I've got off the vehicle and had a closer look at the fence, I can actually see pug marks of what looks like maybe another hyena on the other side of the fence here. But it's not fresh, it's not from this morning. I'd say sometime yesterday. There's also some civet tracks on top of all of the disturbed soil here, which is a clear sign that this were, was from yesterday, because the civets, as we know, are only active at night. Another hyena pug mark here, and now having had a close inspection, it actually looks like different ages of hyena. So, spotted hyena. And looks like one large female and maybe a male or one of her cubs that was with her. And they were trying to get through the fence here. And presumably trying to get at the other hyena that was on the other side of the fence. It's the only sort of possible reason I can see why they would try to do that at this particular point along the fence. Very interesting. I've never seen that before. They obviously were not successful. Because the fence is pretty secure at this point. So, yeah, very interesting. Why would they be trying to get at this other hyena? Possibly trying to fight with it? I'm not too sure, but yeah, very cool to find the, those signs. Right, so back to our mission this afternoon, everybody. We're going to cruise along the fence here a little bit, the southern fence, to see if there's any sign of those beautiful two male cheetah. And um, then probably going to cut north off the fence line and head up towards the Boma, which is where the pride of lions and the males were last seen this morning. The male, or the, all of the lions, uh, I believe, made a wildebeest kill uh, pretty close to the airstrip, close to Boskamp. And then went past the Boma, where the wild dogs currently are still waiting for their females. And then I believe from there continued south. So they may have also come down to the southern fence line. But uh, yeah, that's, that's our plan, everybody. See if we can find some cheetahs, find some lions, 
and whatever else might come along our way on this fine gorgeous afternoon last day of the year The cheetah males were last on the eastern fence line yesterday afternoon, but they can cover a lot of ground pretty quickly. So that's why I just wanted to have a quick look along the southern fence here. And just see if we don't get lucky with them. One of their favorite spots just up ahead here. Not there today. Yeah, at this junction just to see if the cheetahs have come past this point. If they haven't, I'm going to quickly shoot up to the boma because that's where we know the lions were last seen and we'll probably end up working our way back to the southern fence line if that's the way the lions were headed. There's no sign of the cheetahs yet. Didn't see any tracks there. Beautiful call of a common scimitar bull back there. I'm going to shoot to the Boma straight away, everybody, because I can hear vehicles coming out from Ledwood and Kaya. They're coming on to Blowbunk, so I would imagine quite a lot of people probably try to come find these lines. We want to find them first, so let's go straight there. Get onto those tracks as quickly as possible. Hoping that if they have eaten, I don't know if the lioness has ate. Probably not with the males being with them. Did, did you see the... No. Yeah. Makes sense that the males stole the kill from the girls maybe and girls haven't eaten so then they may have moved a bit of a distance from the boma. But let's get up there quickly everybody. See if they didn't come walking along this road. Woof butt. I hope everybody's had a wonderful Christmas, by the way, a wonderful festive period. I've been very fortunate to have had the time off and spent a wonderful Christmas with my family and my son, which I'm very grateful for. It's been a lovely time. I know Pan. Somebody's just found the male cheetahs on the southern fence line. So we were on the right, right route there, guys. Where on earth is Rhino Pan? I've never heard of Rhino Pan on the southern yeah, fence line, but anyway. Good afternoon, Connie. A happy New Year's Eve to you. Yeah. Lovely to have you with us. Lovely to be out here with you all. It's a gorgeous day. Gorgeous last day. Just going to try and find out where Rhino Pan is on the southern fence here figure out where those cheetah are but at the same time keeping a lookout for the lions here as we get closer to the boma with the male cheetah come in for Gareth. Yes, 
Good afternoon. Sorry, I don't know where Rhino Pan is. Which road are you close to on the southern fence? Okay, copy that, thanks. Right, there we go. Now we know where the cheetahs are. So they are quite far down the southern fence line, everybody. The male cheetah, and I hope to get there this afternoon, but I'm gonna start by searching for these lions close to the boma here. Now the lioness is set off, apparently, away from the boma. And the males were slowly trying to trail them. I think the males were quite full after finishing off that wildebeest, so they may not have kept up with the girls, which I'm sure the girls are hoping for. <clears throat> Let's get up there as quickly as we can. Look at this amazing view here, Ryan. Show everybody this gorgeous view. I, I absolutely love the view from this road across the valley heading northwest along the edge of the Drakensberg Mountains. Absolutely stunning area, this. disturbance on the road there. I thought it might have been the lions that were sleeping there, but it was actually a zebra that was rolling. Thank you, Connie. It's good to be back. And yeah, so chuffed that uh, I had the time off to be with family over Christmas. Harrison had an amazing day. Yeah, he got spoilt. Lots of presents. And his his uncle, my brother, got dressed up. His, uh, yeah, so his uncle was all dressed up like Father Christmas. He didn't, he didn't fool Harrison, however. Harry knew it was his uncle after about two minutes, but it was still such a lovely morning, beautiful morning with my boy. Really, really awesome. Okay, so here we go, we're at the Boma. Haven't seen a single line track yet. Quickly scoot around the Boma and just see we don't see tracks, we might get lucky and see the wild dogs as well. Although the Boma is an overgrown jungle at the moment. The whole reserve is, to be fair. It's beautiful. It's wonderful that we've had such good rain so far. Drove past Mumba Dam earlier at the start of drive. Now, I, I, of course, haven't been here for a week. I couldn't believe how full Mumba Dam is. It's the fullest I've ever seen it. Ryan, did you say you saw lions at the Boma? Oh, there's a wild dog. She almost had a heart attack. Sorry, boy. This is the amputee. 
the three-legged wild dog. Just shot up out of the grass here. Sorry, boy, we disturbed you. Another dog trotting at the back there. They're actually all coming to the fence here, everybody. I'm going to just reverse here, but well, I think they're going to come to us by the looks of things. Happy New Year's Eve, boys. Hello, boys. Oh, that's wonderful. What a treat. They, of course, had quite an ordeal the other day with the lions trying to break into the enclosure when they were being fed. I don't know if you all know about that, but we came to feed the wild dogs and didn't know that the lions were around. Of course, the dogs got to doing what they do best and started tearing that impala carcass apart. And the male lions then had a go at trying to break in, literally ran into the fence, one of the male lions. But fortunately, the fence is very solid, so he didn't get in. An absolute disaster if he had. But yeah, so the dogs are healthy, fed, and survived that lion attempt. All right, boys, we're going to love and leave you. Enjoy your New Year's Eve. Hopefully, the lions won't give you any trouble tonight. And hopefully, you'll have some girls soon enough as well. Right, so Ryan says that the lions were actually walking on the western side of the fence of the boma. So I'll work my way around there quickly. I doubt they would have slept here, but you just got to rule it out, you know. Always, always, when I'm searching for anything, when I'm tracking big game, always have to go back to the last known position. Start from there. Because you never know, they could they could be sleeping here. But I think they probably would have gone further to the south. Still not seeing lion tracks. <clears throat> it's quite possible that there's been a lot of vehicle activity around the Boma today as well. I certainly do see fresh tracks. Okay, no sleeping cats around the boma. This was great news for the dogs. So we'll just go a bit further south from here, everyone. Yeah, last we saw them, they were walking up this path. Cool. Yeah, I can see the vehicles have driven over the tracks. It's a route they often take, Ryan. They go down towards the riverbed here. So we'll head that way now. <clears throat> Just look at that. Well, you can see, I saw it in picture now, this beautiful mountain range, sun breaking through the clouds over the mountains. Magical place.
Very upset. Racking cysticula here, which is a small LBJ, little brown job, little bird. You can hear it sounding the alarm here. Freaking out. Don't see anything at first glance here. These little cysticulas will alarm call for a number of predators. They would, of course, for the lions, but they would too for... It's coming straight in towards us here. But they also alarm call for slender mongoose, for snakes, African wildcat, serval. There's lots of stuff that could set off a cysticula like this. Leopard, cheetah. I just want to have a close look and make sure it's not the lion sleeping somewhere. Listen to them, they're all going crazy here. I don't think it's the lions. I would have seen them by now for sure. So probably something small like a slender mongoose. They're actually moving away. It's very often the case that it's a slender mongoose moving through the grass. Always have to check though. Good afternoon, Sue. Lovely to have you with us. And yes, a happy New Year's Eve to you. Busy tracking or trying to find tracks of the lions, Sue. They went past the boma where the wild dogs are this morning. And we think they may have headed somewhere this direction, but haven't found any signs yet. Like they went down there either. Betty, to answer your question, uh, the line may have got zapped by the fence. It's not a very strong current that runs through the wires of that fence. But I think that was the least of his worries. To be honest, when he ran into that fence, he ran with so much force. Would have been more concerned about damaging his neck or something like that. Here's a lion track here. Yeah, these lions walk down here. 
Someone drove over these tracks. Uh, there's definitely tracks of at least one lioness and one male lion that went this way. <coughs> Let's just go down here a little bit folks, see if we don't find any more tracks this way. some tracks here The spot not too far from here where I've on a couple of occasions found the lionesses resting during the day. Nice big sodic area down here near the river, dry riverbed. They might have headed that way. look at the road here again for tracks. You can hear there's a vehicle coming up behind me. Numzan! Nicole Gunjan would. Were you with them this morning? Yeah. Where did you leave them? You go ahead. Just run into my very good friend Sammy, everybody. One of the guides from Kind Lovu. He's just confirmed that I'm on the right track because he said 
he left them a bit further along the road here this morning. Mm. I'll follow you. Show us the way. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. So as I was saying, folks, Sammy actually was here this morning. And he said he followed them a bit further past this Sodic site. We can now show you all the tracks of the Pride that walked along here, which is pretty cool. In between the vehicle tracks, you can see the paw prints of these beautiful cats that came walking down here. So we were on the right track. Sammy's just going to go straight back to where he left them and just go have a look. And we'll slowly follow him. A good chance they might still be somewhere close by here. It was quite a warm day, so I don't think they would have walked too much longer. <clears throat> Let's go have a look. Living the lock of the two Madonna's gun kind of just a little bit wet of the Rhino fan. Um, there's the street truck, uh, which shows just the vehicle truck starts to go numb. And in the block, um, just a couple of meters away from the tank, in the block. Okay, I'm going to be off the vehicle here quickly, everybody. I think this is where the line's turned. Just want to have a quick look here.
Good luck. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, sorry, Ryan. I didn't see you were focused in on that lovely skink there. Good find, sir. All right, folks. So the update is the tracks are going straight south to the fence line. I've left Sammy and his tracker. They're on foot, still following the tracks. Let them do the hard work. I also didn't want to leave you guys for too long. So, yeah, there's a good chance they might be in that block still. What we'll do is we'll just go check the fence line, everybody. They may have already come out by the fence. Be quite a difficult area to get into if they are in the block however these lions it's a very dense block very thick woodland but we might get lucky they might have come out at the fence Another gorgeous area that we're in here, everyone. I haven't been down here in a very long time either. Just love this road. Well, there's a beautiful little riverbed that we cross here that the lions may have actually ended up resting in but possibly a bit further upstream from where we are now. Good afternoon, Brandy and CJ. Lovely to have you with us, guys. Looks like the elephants have been here recently. quickly make way for another vehicle that's busy coming our way. Hello everybody. Hello. How are you? No, haven't got there yet. I'm busy tracking the lines. Oh yeah. They came down towards this drainage line. Uh, we were in that area um, in the morning. Okay. Yeah, I'll just check that side. Sammy's on foot, busy following the tracks. They came right. this direction. Okay, cool. Cool, guys. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you very Happy much. New Year's Eve. All, all the best to you. Yeah, to you too. It's interesting. I thought I'd heard earlier on the road that someone had found elephants on kind Lobo. Yet, if I go back here, everyone, you can see tracks of an elephant here. They're obviously just not fresh. Pretty cool, though, to see the tracks of where the elephants have walked along the river here. Just wanted to check and make sure that the lions didn't come through here, too. Certainly no lion tracks here. You can see the big prints of the elephants, as well as some giraffe that walked on top of the elephant's tracks too. I wonder if that herd of elephants not here, and maybe it was a bull, elephant bull that was located on Kaya this afternoon. Tracks of these elephants move up the river, so away from me here. I certainly can't hear them feeding at the moment. Right, let's get back up towards the fence line here and see if we don't find any signs of these lions.
think there's a very good chance these lions are sleeping in that river though folks and if they are if they are I doubt there's any way we can get to them as I was saying before this is a very very dense area we find ourselves in this afternoon and where these lions have headed Not too far from the southern fence of the Reedsbreak Game Reserve now, everybody. That's the general direction of the lions. Like I say, they may have stopped in the riverbed behind us, but let's quickly check the fence. And if I don't have any signs here, then I'll uh, try to take us to go see the two male cheetah, which are also not very far from here, so that's a little bit concerning. That the two male cheetah are this close to where these lions are. They'll have to have their wits about them this evening. The plus side for the cheetah, of course, is that the lions, particularly when the males are with the pride, vocalize just about every single night, just as they start moving. And they start roaring. And so then the cheetah know exactly where the lions are and can move away and find cover when they go to sleep later tonight. wonder now if those cheetah have eaten the if not then they themselves might get active pretty soon and go search for prey but anyway first things first let's check the fence here now the cheetahs I believe are off to our left along the fence line like I say, we'll go that way a little later. First, just want to check the stretch of fence line here for the lions. We, of course, will get an update from Sammy pretty soon, who's still tracking on foot. He'll let us know if he's had any luck.
giraffe walking along the fence here towards us. Best you watch out for these lions. Mrs. Giraffe, I think it's a Mrs. Looks like a relatively young giraffe that we've got here. Oh, and a bird of prey in this tree right in front of us too. Looks like a dark chanting goshawk by the looks of things. Maybe not. I actually forgot my binoculars today everybody and I can't really make out in the shot here but I think it is a dark chanting goshawk judging by the the jizz of the bird the shape of the bird the general look of it beautiful Now this giraffe, I would imagine, has been walking along the fence for quite some time and then has come up towards us here. And quite clearly, hasn't bumped into any lions. Now I don't see any tracks of the lions down here either, guys. I think there's a good chance they're sleeping in the block here. Station with the two male cheetah, I'd like to make my way, I'm five out. Almost looks like that giraffe searching for something, eh? See how it keeps looking over the fence like that, and possibly there's, there's some other giraffe on the other side that it's noticed. Okay, folks, going to leave that beautiful giraffe and try to get back up to where these male cheetah are currently. Let's go see what the boys are up to. get lucky a little bit later this evening with the lions if they do get up and move they might actually pop out on the fence here later this evening when they're mobile might go back that way and work that area again a bit later everyone Yeah. <laughs> 
must be getting pretty close now to where the cheetah are. Just thinking the first person to have found them said they were near Rhino Pan. I've never heard of any pan called that along here before. But I do know of one pan which is just up ahead now. I've actually seen the cheetah drinking here before. is this pan. I can see the vehicle tracks coming out here. Right, here we go everybody. Let's go have a look at our beautiful male cheetahs. going thank you oh wow you see them just here to my right everybody are you guys wanting to leave now well, we just came here, so we'll just take a few minutes. no that's absolutely fine just let me know then I'll move black man oh, what a treat so special to see these guys. It's been a while for me. I haven't seen the male cheetah in quite some time. They look pretty chilled out at the moment. They don't look like they're going to go anywhere anytime soon. Of course, often when I say that, they get up and move away. Just look at the grass around this cheetah, everybody. Grass is growing really tall at the moment, which does work in their favour. Keeps them well hidden. Can't even see his brother that's lying down to the left of him there. Sammy for Gareth. He's just collapsed. Oh, how beautiful are those spots in the grass. Amazing cat. Just noticed a vulture that was in a tree behind us. It's flown away now. flying behind us now and it caught the attention of this cheetah. Vultures may have spotted the cheetah and might have been hanging around to see if there was a carcass or potentially to follow them. It's never a good thing when the lions are nearby and vultures come down because lions are so alert to vultures and will often then go and investigate vultures that they see or hear in hope that there's a kill they can rob from another predator which of course is going to bring unwanted attention to these two two cheetah Marcia C have asked about the cheetah cubs um, they haven't been seen in a little while I don't know how long it's been now, probably a week, maybe just over a week since we last saw them. So hopefully doing well, but there hasn't been a recent sighting of the mother and those five cubs. Also hasn't been a recent sighting of 
the other female that's got the single cub in sure, probably a month now. But that's quite normal this time of the year as the bush gets thicker. It's a lot more difficult for us to find these cheetah and their cubs. But it's a perfect time for them to raise cubs because of the long, long tall grasses to keep those cubs hidden. about this little pool of water everybody sits just beyond these cheetah about 60 yards beyond them so I'd imagine they were walking along the fence stopped and had a drink and then decided to come and sleep inside the thickets here choosing to sleep off of the fence which is interesting much better tactic to be fair They're far more hidden in the long grass here than they are on the open road. Standing by. Copied. And have you got access there? Sounds like Sammy's found the lions, everybody. Just busy listening to Sammy and where he's located those lions. It sounds like pretty close to where I left him um, with his tracker. Just going to move the vehicle, everybody. The other family that's here with us want to leave, so I'm just going to make space for them. Thanks guys. Oh look at that. One of the males just set up, the male with a collar. Stunning. Just going to move back an inch here everybody, as soon as this other vehicle's moved on. to sleep. Hard work being a cheetah male. Right, let's move in a bit closer here everyone. If I sit alongside them here we might be able to get some really nice close-ups of these gorgeous boys.
Not often you'll find cheetahs sleeping this calmly with their heads down flat to the ground. Probably find it's because of the long grass, they feel a bit more comfortable. They feel like they're well hidden here. Marcy, to answer your question, yeah, unf yeah, unfortunately no new updates on the female wild dogs that we're hoping to introduce to the males here and release onto the reserve. But we have been told that we should be getting news middle of January once things open up again and the labs start working again. We should have the results by then. Look at that cat's beautiful face. Jeez, that tear mark that runs from the eye is just something I'll say. You can hear lots of frogs around us here, everybody. It's because of this pan of water that's close by to us here. Beautiful, bubbling casinos. Yeah, Michael, um, I don't know the exact age of these two boys, but they're not very old. Um, I'd imagine they're probably somewhere between two to three years old now, these two males. I'll have to check with Kevin. Or Brent. Brent will know. Let's think about rolling over. Yeah, thought better of it. Sammy, 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 Sammy for Gareth. What is best access? Must I come along the game path where I left you? Um, I think from Yakle, but I'm heading there. Try uh, find the way. Okay, copy from where I left you on foot. How far along that game path were they? Yeah, it's uh, 400 meters uh, sort of uh, southwest. I'm going back right to Yakle, but. Okay, copy that, thanks. Just busy chatting to Sammy everybody about the best way to get to those lines because that's where I want to go to next. Not that I'm in any massive rush to leave these beautiful cats we're currently sitting with. This guy is onto something. Been watching something through the grass and now he's popped his head up again. Might be hearing something. thinking what he can hear I think it's something he hears more than he sees and of course got fantastic hearing these cheetah
see those ears flicking quite regularly. There's quite a lot of flies around us here. Which are bugging him. second one who's got up is steering straight back to the fence. Oh, not too worried obviously. Looks like that male's busy eating some grass now. Oh, these cheetah are skinny. They haven't eaten today. I wouldn't be surprised if they get moving. Soon and go look for something to hunt. Now I do think they're going to continue west which means they're going to be ending up pretty close to these lions later today if they do move west from here. Yes indeed Betty, it's beautiful just sitting quietly like this and listening to everything around us. Lots of beautiful birds and all the frogs here at the pan. What a privilege. How lucky we are to spend the last evening of the year like this. frogs starting to flare up now. They really don't look like they're going to do much at all. And that's of course not long before it starts getting dark, dark everybody, so you would think that if they were going to hunt this afternoon they would have got started already. Uh, 
uh, sorry, Jennifer, I must have missed your question earlier. No, there's hardly a breeze this evening. So, and the distance we, that we are from where those lions are currently is quite big. It's probably half a mile at least, maybe three quarters of a mile from here to where the lions are. So even with strong wind, I don't think they would have picked up on these cheetahs' scent today at that sort of distance. So for now the boys are safe. Those lions aren't a problem. But like I say folks, I don't know if they're going to go very far from here tonight either. They'll probably just push deeper in away from the fence line here. It's pretty open behind me. And so they can lie down in the grass and sleep here tonight and the lions would probably just walk right by them here along the southern fence if they are going to go that direction. I think we're going to head off. Let's leave these beautiful cheetah boys for one last time this year. I'm sure we'll be seeing them again soon in the new year. But I think with the time we have left, let's maybe go see if we can help Sammy get into where those lions are. Sounds like it's proving to be quite tricky. But... Um, I think we'll be able to find a way. Hopefully we will. It sounds like Kevin knows sort of where they are and he believes there's a way in there. So Kevin's probably been in there before. Let's go give it a bash. Goodbye boys. Good luck to you. Hopefully you don't run into any lions tonight. So I'm leaving the two male cheetahs still lying up same position on the southern fence line or just in from the southern fence line of Blobunk, uh, east of Nyala Ruta, leaving them unattended. Okay, I'll be responding but I'll be a while, I thought they were in that corner. Uh, they're very close to that first pan, east of Nyala Ruta, they're on the western side of that pan. Tawny Eagle that just flew off there. Yeah, that's affirmative. Ah, so there was a Tawny Eagle sitting around here as well, everybody waiting on these cheetah. It might have even been what I noticed earlier. Maybe it wasn't a vulture, maybe it was a Tawny. Tawny Eagles will off. No, there is a vulture there too. See there, Ryan? The top of the tree there. A couple of birds waiting on these cheetah. Also hopeful that they might go hunt, but I think the birds are going to go hungry waiting on these cheetah tonight. Just make out a single white-backed vulture in the distance here, everybody. Ryan's just zooming in on it at the moment. So tawny eagle and white-backed vulture hanging around the cheetah here. Yeah, die to answer your question about the vocalizing of cheetah. Yes, it's it's more often than not that you'll hear the chirps and yips when they're communicating with each other. Um, they also have a deep growl which they'll give off when they are stressed by something or you know fighting with another cheetah. Almost like a bark, barking growl that they give off. But 
other than that, they're pretty silent cats. They're not, they don't vocalize uh, in any other way. Certainly not, you know, like lions do to announce themselves within a territory. Cheetahs don't do that. <clears throat> hmm. That was lovely though. Lovely stuff. Nice to see the boys again. Sammy for Gareth. Have you managed to relocate? I, uh, the ground is, is wet. Um, I can't get up. Okay, copy, thanks. Interesting. Just now seeing the cheetah's tracks on the road here, everybody. They actually came from there. So coming from the west, they were heading east before they went into the block there. So that's, that's good news. That means they're probably not going to head in the direction of the lions this evening. If anything, they'll probably continue going east, so away from the lions. I've just heard from Sammy now, everybody, that it sounds like, it sounds like uh, where he was trying to gain access to the lions, the soil was very, very wet. So difficult, difficult for him to get in there. Obviously, we can cause quite a lot of damage with these heavy vehicles in soil that's very saturated. I'm still going to go past the area because the lions may get up and move. We'll just go have a look and see if there's any way we can find a different way in there. Might still be worth our while. Hello guys. How are you? Good and you? Temperature has dropped massively now. Sun's just going behind the Drakensberg Mountains. And if those lionesses are hungry, we might get lucky. They might get up early. So that's why I want to just head that way now, folks. See if we don't get lucky. Imagine we get the pride on the move. It'd be so cool. Gorgeous sunset right now, that's for sure.
water lying up everywhere, hey? I was chatting to Maddie earlier. He said we've had close on, I think, 100 mils of rain just in the last couple of days up here. Incredible. Hello, guys. Wet. That so excited. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. This one, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Did you try coming on this skellum putt? Skellum putt. See this green skellum putt here? Yeah. You didn't try that one? Um, it's, it's not easy to go up to the... Yeah, it's not easy. Okay. Yeah. The lap pounds. Enjoy, everybody. Yeah, nice yeah. to see you, brother. Thank you. Just catching up with Sammy there. They've given up on trying to get into where the lions are, as mentioned. But I know where he and his track have found them on foot, so we'll go past that area, folks. We'll go close, as close to it as possible. See if we get lucky. See the cheetah tracks there. It's quite cool to see that here, folks. Beautiful prints of the cheetah in this nice wet sand. And you can clearly see they came from this side of the world back up to where we've just left them. So, as I said, folks, moving away from the lions, which is great. Those cheetah probably know the lions are here already. And that's why they've changed their direction of going back east. It's probably also why they're sleeping off of the fence rather than on the road like they often do. They may have picked up on the scent of those lines. Jennifer, uh, I'm sure the buffalo are doing just fine, to be honest. We don't get regular updates on that herd of buffalo. Uh, we, of course, are not allowed to go and view them where they are in that boma. They're on kind level. But yeah, I haven't heard much about them. I'm sure they're loving life there. Much larger boma than the one they came from originally. And especially this time of the year with all the rain. Grasses will be lush. Lots of water for them. 
it'll be a wonderful day one day when we do release them if we release them hopefully we will be fascinating to watch the lions try to figure that one out when they bump into buffalo all of a sudden I'm sure they'll know exactly what to do though Very, very dense woodland either side of the road here that we're moving through. Perfect habitat for leopard and black rhino. It's very thick. Bush is completely overgrown now. Everything is flush. Standing by. Just confirm those cheetah um, were they east or west of that van? Just on the western side of it, you'll see the prominent two track that goes north of the fence, literally about 50 meters west of the pan. Okay, yeah, copy. Yeah, I'm okay, and I'm I'm on your edge. So I'm just trying to find the point where Sammy went in, everybody, towards the lines. It must be pretty close by here. I so say though, you know, looking in here, <laughs> it's thick, very thick. It'll be fun trying to get in there. prominent game path that goes in towards the block here. I wonder if that might open up in here. I'm going to have a quick look here everybody. The soil looks pretty hard where I am, pretty compact. Give it a shot. Because we're pretty much directly opposite where the lions are sleeping at the moment now everybody they're down here towards the little dry riverbed we crossed earlier let's see if we can find a way in here Ryan I think you best take the camera off just let Ryan take the camera off the tripod here quick everyone Hmm. 
my little game path I was following appears to have disappeared. Watch yourself here, Ryan. No thorns on these guys. Just pass it over if you can. Don't touch that one. So far so good in terms of the soils everybody, pretty hard where we are, it's quite dry though. Just stopped here everybody, I just want to listen to see if I don't hear anything. I believe I must be pretty close now to where these lions are resting. Happy New Year, Michael. Thanks for joining us, bud. Hope you have a wonderful day. Look forward to seeing you soon in the New Year. Let's keep going everybody, see if we can get down to this soda carrier. Ryan's having fun behind me here, everybody, because we've got these little aerials that sit attached with magnets on the back of the jackal. And every now and then I go under a tree and these, these aerials just keep pulling off. Sorry, dude. Making good progress here. Now of course I don't know exactly where Sammy found the lions. He's given me a pretty good indication as to where I need to go.
big sodic site that I'm approaching here now. Hopefully this is the one everyone. Maybe we're in luck. Definitely never been in here before, so this is very exciting. Careful this one here, Ron, don't touch it. I see a line. Just through that gap there, Ryan, do you see it? Just on the other side of the open sandy patch. Do you see it there, bud? See you lying in the grass, other side of the sand there. It's one of the male lions, everybody. Jackpot. <laughs> well done, Jackal. You got us in there. Well done for Ryan. Hanging on to the camera, you can just see the lion now in focus there, everybody, just behind that bush. One of the male lions, just saw his ear flicking there. Good job. So cool. All right, guys, let's see if we can get ourselves a little bit closer and see if we can see the rest of the pride here. Not too sure how Sammy tried to get in here, but all the soils I've been driving on are really rock solid. Oh wow, look at that. My goodness, there's the pride. Unbelievable. They're just sleeping out in the open here, folks. Right in the middle of this big sodic patch. That is so cool. Jackpot! Some of those girls look pretty plump, eh? They might have eaten some of that wildebeest before the, yeah, particularly that one. Look at how big, big her belly is. They might have eaten some of that wildebeest. Did you actually see what happened, Ryan, with the lions who killed the wildebeest? No, it was already, it's already dead. They're already eating it by the time we got there. Okay. Very likely that the pride killed it. Got one or two of the lionesses got to do some feeding before the males came in and took over. There's definitely one or two of these girls that are plump. That one off to the right, see the heavy breathing? You see that one there, Ryan? Oh, that's a male. Sorry. I thought it was a lion, yes. Of course he's panting. He got the lion's share. Oh, this is amazing. Couldn't have asked for a better way to have our final drive of the year, everybody. Really just so special. Treated to a wonderful sighting of the Cheetah Boys and eventually finding a way into our amazing pride. Just so grateful. And grateful that we got to share it with all of you, all of our loyal pack members, all of the people following Painted Dog TV. We thank you all, everybody. You make these drives possible and all of our conservation work possible. 
it's just wonderful for us to be able to find special moments like these and share them with all of you. Given for Gareth. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I have managed to relocate on the Pride, um, but it's, yeah, the soils I've driven on are all compacted and hard. That's not the issue. The issue is it's just very dense. But, um, yeah, you will be able to open up the sighting. I can't uh, direct you any better than Sammy did, but I accessed off Yach Leipert um, to get to that second sodic area. They're all sleeping in the sodic area at the moment. Okay, copy will do. <sighs> oh, brilliant, Connie. Well, that makes sense then. That's awesome. So the girls did manage to get some of that carcass then before the males took over. Also great that, you know, the injured males with them and that he got something to eat as well. That's really good news. Sorry everybody, I'm just busy typing up a story about where we found the lions on the sightings group. Well, now that I have been caught up by Connie in the fact that the lions have, or well, the girls have eaten, and certainly now from what I can see that the girls have eaten, I don't suspect they're going to be in a massive hurry this evening. that the injured male lion has managed to get a full feed again. He really is doing exceptionally well with the injury that he has. And of course, wonderful to know that the pride and the other two males, his two brothers, are still accepting of him. So no other further, or no further serious damage to that injured male, which is great news. You never know, he might make the most miraculous recovery.
I wonder if the first lion that I spotted everybody wasn't maybe the injured male that's lying off to the right of the group here. Out, you know, beyond the sodic area in that long grass. He very often seems to lie apart from the others, the injured male, because I'm sure he's nervous of getting injured, you know, more injured. So I suspect that's him that we spotted first. I think it's the two fit males that are lying next to each other there. Getting their beauty sleep. Ryan Sue is commenting on your camera work. She's very impressed. Good job, bud. Tell you what, though, we're going to have fun getting out of here just now in the dark. A ah. little bit of excitement on New Year's Eve. Why not? These lions truly do sleep dead to the world, eh? One girl's got her head up there. Is he watching us? Hello, gorgeous. Amazing. Did you see the spider hunting wasp that just crawled over the belly of that lioness, everybody? Now that's a first for me. Never seen that before. Amazing how the lioness didn't even react. She wasn't fussed at all. Big spider hunting wasp just crawled up her flank there. Very cool. Tails flicking, ears flicking. The flies are still active at the moment, still bugging all of us. Won't be for too much longer, however. The flies will eventually give up and go and settle in the trees close to where the lions are, but of course then the lions will move. A little bit later this evening. signs of movement just yet though. Beautiful, peaceful scene. A 
just looking at the pride resting there now and you look at the tree line behind them everybody see how dense the woodland is above the pride now Sammy and his tracker would have had to have been pretty damn close before they would have seen these lionesses when they were walking I'm just thinking now where did they come out in that thick, thick dense woodland there until they you know initially then spotted the lions and would have then pretty quickly retreated back towards their vehicle it's very, very thick bush here around this Sodic area. So they would have been right on this pride when they found them on foot. I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad I didn't walk with them though, because it's a long way actually from where we started walking from the vehicles, from the other road where we had the tracks. It's a long walk to this point. So I would have been gone probably 20 minutes from the vehicle to get to these lines and then back again. Which station is approaching the sighting of the lines? Yeah, uh, it's me. Uh, it's a bit longer than I thought getting in here. Okay, copy that. Yeah, you're very close now, Kip. Kevin's found a way in with his big Land Rover, so that's good news. So if any of the other families are interested to come see the Pride this evening, they will be able to get in now. Following Kevin's tracks will be a lot easier than following my route. Of course, in this little jackal, I can weave through the tightest gaps. But the Land Rovers and Land Cruisers require much bigger gap. So I'm parked uh, sort of south southwest of where you are. I came around the western side, southwestern side of the Sadek area. Okay, copy. Yeah, I'm not going to be here much longer, Kevin. I'm going to be pulling out in the next five minutes. Happy New Year, Marcy. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful New Year's celebration and we'll see you again in the New Year. Kevin and Greer just pulling in here, everybody. That's a cool shot with them in picture. Looks like they've got some friends and family that are visiting for New Year's Eve at the moment. It looks like Hanno in the back there. I know from Rhino Revolution, he is uh, one of the Leadwood homeowners as well. catching flies. The lions certainly spend a lot of their lives catching flies, or at least trying to catch flies. The lions down here, though, are pretty damn lucky. They don't have the tetsy flies like the lions do up in East Africa. Man, those things are nasty. We do get a horse fly out here, which can also have a pretty nasty, annoying bite. But, uh, no, nothing quite like the tetsis up in Kenya and Tanzania. I've experienced them up there. They're really bad. Thank you, Barbara. A very happy New Year to you as well. 2023 has been amazing. Cannot wait to see what 2024 has an offer for us all here at Painted Dog TV. And for all of you, I hope all of you have a successful year next year. Lots of success, joy, happiness, love, family, relaxing, and more sightings like this amazing scene we have here to come, I'm sure.
Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Mary. Oh, it's been a great, great drive. Amazing way to end. Just now see the lioness is starting to stir just a little bit. Thanks very much, Betty and Connie. Yeah, it's been a great year, and like I say, very excited for all of the adventures and endeavours and conservation work that will come in the new year. Very excited to get stuck into more hard and good and exciting work with everybody next year. And of course, spend more time exploring the beautiful Reed Sprague Game Reserve and of course more leopards would be nice as well. Let's let's hope for more leopards in 2024 everybody. It's definitely a pregnant female leopard that we've discovered recently. Caught, caught a female leopard on the camera trap that I set up a couple drives back and uh, this female leopard has got a very very clearly distended belly. She's pregnant so who knows, maybe we're going to be treated to some new little leopard cubs in the new year. I cannot wait to get back out here and go try and find her. But for now, everybody, we are going to wrap up. Say goodbye to the pride. Hopefully Ryan and I will find our way home, get out of this jungle that we found ourselves in. But uh, thanks again, everybody. Um, thanks for a wonderful year and a very happy new year to all of you. Stay safe, have lots of fun. Enjoy the festivities with your family and uh, I'll be back soon and we'll see you all soon. Cheers for now everybody.